on the island. It's my second job today. Beautiful out here. It was just a gorgeous day, the first day of February. Look at this. I can try to focus this. Anybody that's in the nature, the, uh, these are the swans out here mostly now. The geese are still down south someplace. But the swans, a lot of them prefer to stay here for the winter. Too lazy to fly, too big. And uh, this is where they normally go in the springtime to congregate to find mates. I'm parked in the road here. And uh, find food because it's shallow out here. And what will happen is with the sunshine, and we have warm weather for the past couple days, ice has melted just about. And uh, these guys will, photosynthesis will start taking place here. Right now it's already doing it. And uh, algae and water plants grow incredibly fast, incredibly, incredibly nutritional. So um, the birds would do very well. I think this is going to be a good year. It's too late in the season for us to have a big freeze, I believe. But driving home, this is, reminds me of the old days. Um, the economy. I read a story this morning. They're thinking oil is going to go up. I guess that's going to ease people's minds. Now, to me, that's insane. I would keep telling everybody, look, gas is going to stay cheap. And people that are invested or vested in the stock market, they're thinking that the only reason the stock market is going down is because oil is so cheap. That is just bullshit. And I don't understand. There's a guy out there fishing in the boat. Holy tamale in February. Where is he? Where is he? i got to make sure there's nobody behind me. Out there fishing. All right. But the thing that gets me is, is just a couple years ago, we have to remember how much we were paying for gas. It nearly got up to five bucks a gallon, but it was steadily at three fifty to four fifty, and it was hurting everybody's pocketbooks. Now I believe we went through a, a, a Christmas time actually when the gas was really high. And Christmas, it wasn't god awful as this year. But, you know, of course, everybody was expecting the economy to turn around, everything to get better, raises to come in, and the pay to get better, and uh, businesses to expand a lot. But they did not. The pay got less, the benefits are non existent in most jobs. And, um, you know, you're lucky if you get overtime, any time at all. But the thing is, Oil was really high. Now it's really cheap. And remember they were telling us that, well, oil, there's only so much of it. There's going to be peak oil and then that's it. It's, it's going to, people are going to start running out and, and it's, it's going to be like 10 bucks a gallon. It's going to be scarce. We have to think of other energy sources. And uh, now it's like a buck something a gallon and there's so much of it. They got these giant uh, oil cargo ships out there in the ocean just floating around waiting for the prices to change so they can make a profit off their uh, investment. I guess if you buy a barrel of oil at 40 bucks a barrel and when you're shipping it over to the states the damn oil goes down to 30 bucks you gotta wait around till it goes back up to 40 or 45. I don't know what the hell they do. You gotta do something. But now it, that was a big scare. They were trying to scare us. They were telling us that oh look at this. This is just beautiful out here. Isn't this nice? I tell you, it's so quiet out here. When I was working, it was just so... You could hear a pin drop. You could hear the, the when the birds flew by, you could hear their wings flapping. That's how... When, when, a, when a bass would jump out of the water, I could hear the water splash from like a good distance away. That's how quiet it is out here. But they were trying to tell us that um, there's peak oil and there's only so much oil and, it, and we have to... It's going to cost this much. It's only going to go up, so get used to it. I, I, I always said that they were just testing the waters to see how, how high they could actually uh, make gasoline, a gallon of gasoline, just to see how the Americans would accept you know, the, the prices. And you know, Americans didn't really do anything. You know, They kept going into debt, and there was a lot less cash. So I think that what was going to happen is the economy was, was actually going to collapse. And the ace in the hole was you bring gas prices down. When everything else goes bad, you still got the ace in the hole. Because if you can bring the gas prices down, guess what? 
it's cheaper to fill up one of these things. And when you got construction guys, who is the heartbeat of America, because they're working on million dollar projects all the time, you, if the gas prices are lower, they're, they're gonna be doing, doing more work and hiring more people to get the job done quicker. And that's exact, exactly what has happened. Even transportation has been hiring a little bit. And they got a little bit more going on. And um, I think everybody, even the factories, I can't speak for everybody, but I think in probably all in manufacturing, uh, any kind of uh, any kind of job, the lower gas prices is benefiting everybody right now. Everybody. They think you probably fast food restaurants. Think about it. Guy spends ten bucks on gas instead of twenty. Now you can afford that hamburger. You know. So I guess that's how you know the reasoning goes. I don't know. I mean, I cheaper gas is good for me. The cheaper gas means that I can eat like every other day and not have to skip too many days anymore. That's all it means to me. So I'm not spending any money whatsoever on anything else. But um, a lot of people might. And I can, I can understand that reasoning. But if gas prices go up, you're gonna see the skids, the brakes on, and that's gonna be it. That's gonna be the end of the fun. That's what I'm afraid of. All right, just duck out. Beautiful day on the island. Just goddamn spectacular.